Hello guys, hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode, an extra episode of H5P. Today it will be red. I used to use uh, uh, black ink, so today is red H5P. Remember guys, we all are we all are in the H5P, whether you like or not. IPv6, IPv4, IPv everything. I've been lately in Internet of Things projects and um, the payload they cover uh, using MQTT is kind of interesting. But anyways, you're still using IP in somehow. So yeah, today we're gonna see some extra stuff in regards of uh, MTU. So particularly we're gonna do some manual pad maximum transmission unit discovery so yeah in this video we're gonna show how you can use an extent extended uh, extend feature from ping iOS extend Cisco iOS uh, ping tool So we're gonna use in particular one feature, um, extra feature called the sweeping. So what basically does is literally sweeping from some MTU range. So in this case, we all are aware that MTU has by default, uh, oh this is an equal, <laughs> supposed to be an equal. So MTU over Ethernet, right? So it used to be uh, by default it's uh, 1500, right? Uh, 1500 octets, right? And um, but what about if you're using some odd technology where it requires you to even downgrade or upgrade, or I mean. Um, put higher or lower this value or you're using I don't know jumbo frames or somehow um, for this particular case we're gonna use a technology called GRE GRE tunneling So we're not getting into details about GRE tunneling. So so far you need to know this. I highly recommend you to check my GRE tunneling video. But basically GRE tunneling, tunneling uh, allows you to create a tunnel, uh, an IP tunnel over an IP infrastructure, basically, in a summary. So GRE tunneling, by default using a different MTU using the 1476 uh, octets, right? So I don't know. You can even use uh, jumbo frames, but um, it's kind of like tricky to simulate jumbo frames in an, in the test environment. So I I I'd rather use Yuri tunneling uh, for this. So how come you're gonna identify like? You assume everyone using 1500 bytes in the MTU, but that's not the real world. Like in the real world, you you have a different MTU values everywhere. So what we're going to do in this demonstration, we're going to have a topology where we're going to deploy a, a year. Well, yeah, we're going to deploy year tunneling. Year tunneling will be already deployed. Oops, Facebook notifications. So. We're gonna use an extended Cisco IOS ping tool for this uh, with sweeping, and then we're gonna do a manual pad uh, maximum transmission unit discovery, and then we're gonna identify identify this value. I already created Yeri tunnel. We can create another one from scratch, or right? we can even delete it. But this is not the main purpose of this video, so 
I already just showed you the configuration which is super ultra basic tunnel destination source we don't even deploy IPsec and nothing security um, uh, whatsoever so you was just the plain GRE tunnel and then gonna identify this so let's jump to the topology okay so let's go here and then yeah this is what we're going to use uh, today for this uh, video we want to do some GRE tunneling from HQ1 to HQ2 we're gonna do kind of like this um, with a different IP addressing because all of this is, uh, I mean, the private one is 10, is class A, and then we're going to use a class B in between uh, the URI peers. So, I already have some paint addition for the topology, so this is basically an URI tunnel with, uh, with this um, subnet here. So this will be dot one, and this this will be dot two. So let's jump into the CLI quick. Okay, so I was kind of like doing some testing here. So okay, so let's jump into HQ two. Okay, so let's see the IP interfaces. Okay, so whoa. Okay, so we have uh, 0, 0, 0, 1, and tunnel 1, okay? So tunnel 1, it's this one. We don't know where it's facing downstream to who. So let's find it out quick. Let's do a broadcast with a one repeat, okay? So just to find out where it's heading this. So at this point, we know that through a tunnel one we have someone answering which is one one okay so it's so simple so let's ping uh, HQ2 itself so it will be 1912 right so I'm ping myself HQ2 HQ2 so I'm pinging so then I'm gonna ping the guy who I discovered with the broadcast in layer 3 so is answering okay so at this point I know that someone layer 3 guy exists around there who is uh, my neighbor in this period of the URI tunnel one but uh, we don't know what is the MTU they using but I can I can discover what is my MTU right so let's check the MTU of our Ethernet just to verify that we use by default 1500 so show interface Ethernet 0 slash 0 pipe include them to you and then we're gonna find out like we're using the by default value since the 80s yeah, why I'm saying this because if you saw my other MTU fundamental video you will find out like I based everything all the theory I based, I based um, using the RFC documents the request for comment so the request for comment were explained that the MTU will be always default 1500 is was written like ages ago like in the 80s or 90s so anyways so let's uh, issue the same command for the tunnel so pipe include MTU you will see something weird here because you will see two values for MTU um, you need you don't need to take care that much this value which is important is the GRE itself which is the tunnel transport because you're using um, the GRE as a tunnel transport for communicate this particular segment right so that's the important value the MTU for the transport which is 1476 okay um, as I told you at the beginning the GRE tunnel will be 1476 bytes um, yeah, I highly recommend you to check my yearly tunnel video. Yeah. So um, yeah, okay. So we uh, verify, double check that uh, our HQ two router 
which has the 172.19.1.2 IP has a neighbor with a 172.19.1.1 which is using 1476 bytes in my side but I don't know what is the MTU from the other side it can be the same, it can be different, I don't know so imagine you wanna be kind of like tricky engineer and then you're gonna find out this then you see like oh no way I don't have password right even you, you you're capable to do some telnet or SSH and you don't have the password it's like there is no way to identify or create like MTU manual discovery so so how are you gonna cover this uh, with the lovely ping feature the sweeping so we're gonna sweep based on an MTU range as we're gonna see um, now so you can just type the tool itself and then you hit enter and then you're gonna see some extra values they will require it from you so why they show protocol IP of course we're gonna use protocol IP but in his historically speaking in the past you, you were capable to use another how can I say like different um, layer 3 protocols not just internet protocol uh, as IP you were capable to use uh, for instance from Novell IPX or from Apple Talk some other protocols but this is the winner as you know you are in the H5P IP so we're gonna use IP in layer 3 what is the target IP address will be 172.19.1.1 repeat count we wanna use uh, repeat once datagram size you can manipulate here from 36 as I already explained my datagram size uh, datagram headers video IP header layer 2 header and layer 4 header video I highly recommend you to check my videos I will put it in the comment section below but um, if you don't if you don't want to get in that much into details and you're not that picky guy to asking why this why this you just hit enter but um, yeah that was basically the data size time out in seconds we're gonna use by default to extend command yes what will be the source address we're gonna use by default type of service zero remember we have eight bits in the header IP header we're gonna use by default eight bits in zero this is the key value this is key uh, the key important thing in the sweeping uh, MTU mismatch discovery so you need to turn on the down fragment bit in this case if you want to turn the down fragment bit in your testing ping you need to set this value on okay so set down fragment bit in IP header yes oh, what's happening oh whoa, 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 whoa. what it's what really happened here <laughs> sorry guys just um, I don't know it's some weird crash okay set header yes okay so now valid the reply data no data pattern the same default pattern and then extra stuff none and then that's another key part of the ping uh, sweeping for MTU mismatch discovery so I can highlight this question as uh, you need to type yes and this question you need to type yes because you indeed gonna use sweep range so you just type yes just hit enter that's that's a cool part I used to use a scale 1 to 1 hundred percent so what I mean by that I use a range from uh, 1400 to 1500 okay so for 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 the sake of um, accuracy I'm gonna use a hundred like I used to use it in, uh, on my daily job stuff so sweeping uh, mi uh, minimum size of uh, bytes for MTU you can use 1400 you will see what I mean by this and then the max the max size is basically this value is uh, because this is the maximum MTU you can uh, configure in the interfaces um, at least in this at least in this particular operating system in the HQ2 okay so we're gonna use from 1400 to 1500 
and then this is the last question so sweep interval we are not gonna change the interval we're gonna use one which is the default then we hit enter so what is happening here you're doing a ping from HQ2 to 172 1911 uh, where you each ping has uh, one different MTU size so if you configure from 1400 to 1500 you have 101 values here because zero counts so you have uh, 101 sweeping and because you have the down fragment bit on as you can see here you can see that only the success pings will be shown here because the MTU capability is accepted means the down fragment bit is doing the power right so as you can notice here the 76 percent of the whole hundred scale one to one is success and the other 24 is not success right so that's clearly if you use this plus this you will get 1476 which is the real MTU from the tunnel because you're trying to reach the tunnel right so that's basically our tool to uh, find the MTU so let's check it out then we're gonna execute the same uh, command for HQ1 and then you will see that HU1 it's indeed using 1476 that's awesome so um, just to be clear what is going on here I'm gonna do some ping to some Ethernet itself without the URI because this is a URI how I know this is a URI tunnel because um, this is in like you can see it uh, in comment and this with, with this command you can see we were using this tunnel for the URI sweeping but now we're gonna sweep another IP from the Ethernet stack and then you will see that if you execute the same value you will get a hundred success okay so we're gonna ping now let's check show IP interface brief okay so we're gonna try to reach 10.50.1.1 which is Ethernet technology from here right so it's reachable so we're gonna use the same command IP now we're gonna try to target to some internet not GRE and then we're gonna repeat basically the same uh, features repeat count one datagram size by default timeout in seconds default uh, well, you st I can type one, but uh, it's it's just the timeout, so no problem. Extend commands, yes. Source address default. Type of service default. Set don't fragment bit yes. Validate reply data default. Data pattern default. Other extra stuff none, which is default. Sweep branch yes. Another key part of this amazing tool. Sweeping size 400. Max. 1500 to scale 1 and 1 to 100 uh, success interval 1 and then you see that all the pings sweeping because you're literally sweeping one by one from 100 values or 101 values because zero counts so from so from uh, 1400 to 1500 you sweeping one by one and then you can notice that everything is success why because the MTU in the Ethernet technology is 1500 it's not 1476 as we already checked in the beginning on the video right so that was the power of the extent Cisco iOS tool I highly recommend you guys to use it I just use some sweeping with the MTU and if you're an um, um, engineer with a lot of technologies in layer 2 such as Jumbo frames I highly recommend you to do this testing over Jumbo frames, Ethernet Jumbo frames that you will notice that 
I don't know, depends on what is the value of the MTU within your Jumbo frames. I used to see uh, often 7K for MTU, so you can do some thousand sweeping from, I don't know, from uh, 6,500 to 7,500 and then you will find out what is the real MTU within your Jumbo frame technology, land environment or uh, whatever uh, area of your networking topology you're using Jumbo frames, frames. So thanks again, thank you for watching and I highly recommend you to check out my other videos in the comment section below um, which are in somehow connected with the MTU extra uh, stuff we check today which is bad MTU discovery. Okay, thank you guys. Bye.